Hey crafters! So today we are going to be doing something that I would say technically counts as arts and craft, but you probably don't think of it this way, because what we're going to be doing today involves painting, but we're not going to be painting things like, you know my thing of painting, we're going to be painting fingernails. So I would technically classify this as art though and like arts and crafts because we're not just gonna be doing like blah we paint our fingernails and there we go I'm gonna show you guys how to make some really cute snowmen on your fingers with nail polish and now a quick word before you're like oh I can never do that I promise I am like really not that great on nail polish but I'm able to paint my nails with these snowmen with a fair amount of success so if I'm able to do it you can do it too but I'll let you see what they're going to look like So yeah, so those look pretty complicated, but actually they're not too bad because we're going to use a bunch of things to help us, like we're going to use a bobby pin for the dots or a toothpick for the nose and all kinds of different things. So all those little details are actually way easier to create than you might think. So I've gathered up my nail polish and I'm ready to show you guys how I paint my fingernails with these festive snowmen. So first I'm going to start by cleaning my nails off with some nail polish remover just so that way they're nice and clean for when I'm adding the nail polish and the polish will stick extra well. So while I let my nails air dry from the nail polish remover, I'm going to be using this product here. It's rubber latex and I'm going to put this around my nails because I am not very steady when I paint my fingernails and so I tend to get a lot on my skin around my nails and it just looks really sloppy. So I'm going to put this around and then it just peels right off so it makes the edges a lot nicer looking. It does smell kind of weird, I will warn you. But really simple. I'm just going to paint it around the edge of my fingernail, just along the skin. And just make sure you don't get any on your nail or else it'll peel off from your nail later on when we take it off. So just make sure it stays on just your skin, not your nail. You can use like a toothpick or something to keep it off there. But I'm just going to go around and do this around all of my nails to start. So now I have this nice blue color that I got at Walmart and I'm just going to start by putting a nice blue coat on all my nails and this is going to be the background. So now I've got my blue background painted. I'm going to let these dry. Be really, really careful not to bump anything because I almost always end up bumping something. And then we'll move on to our next step. Now I only chose to do one coat of nail polish. Now I'm supposed to do a bunch of thin coats and layer them up. But I did it for two reasons. First of all, because with this nail polish here, it's kind of a cheaper nail polish. So it tends to kind of go on thicker in the beginning anyways. So I'm just going to have to wait a little longer on it to dry. And then second of all, I'm not going to worry so much about doing multiple coats because I am going to be adding details and things on top of it. So it's not like if I have any areas that aren't as thick as others that it's going to be super noticeable. So just be patient, let them dry, and then I'll show you the next step. All right, so now it's time to start adding some details. So I've just got a white thing of nail polish here. Again, I just have a lots of really random nail polishes. So again, I don't necessarily even recommend these specific polishes. Obviously, the better quality polish you're using, the better this will turn out, but this is what I'm using and it works out fine. So now this one actually has kind of a thinner brush for details. You don't necessarily have to use a thinner brush for now. You can use one with a normal thicker brush, but we're just going to start by adding some snow fall along the tip of our fingernails. So it's kind of almost like doing like a French manicure, except because it's snow, it doesn't have to go perfectly across. So that's why I'm able to successfully do this look because you don't have to get a nice crisp edge. It almost looks more natural if you have some up and down to it, like snowfall. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to go along the edges of my nails with a little bit of this white. And this one's actually really gunky. So we'll see how this goes. All right, so now I've done my little white tips on there, a snowfall at the bottom of my nails, and now it's time to let these dry. All right, so now it's time to start building our snowmen. I'm only gonna do snowmen on my thumbs just because I don't know that my other fingers are big enough to do snowmen, and then I'll do just snowflakes on the rest of my fingers. So to help me out here, I'm going to be using a Q-tip. And what I want to do is I want to get my white nail polish again, and I'm just going to get a bunch of white nail polish on the end of the q-tip. And now the trick here, now mine's really goopy, so I'm having some other additional issues, which hopefully you won't have. But the trick here is to not get too much, because if you have too much, it will get really thick on the nail, but you also don't want to have too little, because if it's too little, then it might leave some of the cotton behind. So I'm just gonna take it basically like a stamp and just press down. And once the snowman body is the size I want it to be, I'll lift right up. And then I'll do the same for the head. I'm going to press more gently this time so it doesn't go quite as big. 
And there you can see the snowman body and head. Really simple, just use the stamp. Also, these don't have to look perfect because, you know, snowmen aren't always exactly round and it just adds a little more character to them. Now do the same on the other hand, which this is the only thing you're gonna see me doing with my left hand, by the way. So now this time when I did it, I didn't have quite enough nail polish on there, so it left kind of a weird texture. So if that happens, that's okay. Just put a little extra nail polish on the tip of your Q-tip. Hopefully your nail polish isn't anywhere near as gunky as mine is. And then just re-stamp if needed. And there we go, that's all it takes to build the snowman. So we'll let him dry for a minute or two, and then we're gonna add the hat and the nose. Now what makes these nails look really cute is all the details. So I'm gonna show you some easy ways to add some details to the snowman. So we're gonna start off by adding a hat. So I've got just a regular thing of black nail polish. This is also one I just picked up at Walmart, simple color, so nothing fancy. And this can be done in a couple of ways. The way I'm going to be doing it is I'm going to first start off by making the top of the hat with just the regular brush because the brush is wide. And so really all I'm going to do is I'm just going to start the brush at the top of the snowman's head and just gently pull up and kind of create a little square. So you wanna make sure you don't have any dripping because that'll cause more problems. So just a little bit of nail polish is all you need. And just gently Kind of about like that. And you can reshape it. We are gonna add a brim to the hat, so that will definitely help the shape. So to add the brim, you wanna get a toothpick. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of the black nail polish on the end of the toothpick here. And I'm going to use it as like a stamp to get the brim of the hat. Of course, if you need more paint, you can always get a little more on there. You can also use the toothpick to adjust the shape. If you need to, just kind of fill in the corners. I think the hat is probably the hardest part of this, and it never turns out quite the way I want it to, but as you can see here, it still turns out pretty cute, even if it doesn't look perfect. So I'm gonna do the same thing with my other nail. So now the snowmen have their hats on them. The next thing I want to do is add a scarf and also a carrot nose. So the carrot nose, I'm gonna do pretty much the same way that I did the brim of the hat. I'm going to take my orange nail polish here. This is an Avon nail polish color, really like this one. And I'm just going to put a bit on the end of a toothpick and kind of press down and make a triangle shape for the carrot nose. So I've got my brush here. Just get a little bit onto the end of the toothpick. Kind of brush them off. Don't want too much, but you want to have enough so that we can kind of stamp onto your nail. I'm gonna come down on the face and create a little nose. Do the same on the other side. So here you can see cute carrot noses. And I'm gonna do a similar thing to create a scarf with a red nail polish. I'm just gonna go across and then one down. Again, the trick is to be careful about how much you actually put on the toothpick, because if you have too much, it's gonna glob and be too chunky, but if you have too little, it won't actually leave any polish behind. Scarf going across and then a little bit coming down. And now my snowmen are done, the last thing I want to do is use some white nail polish and a bobby pin to add snowflakes. So just take a bobby pin and use one of the rounded edges of it. Get a bit of nail polish on there and then use it like a stamp. So now that I am done painting on my nails, I'm just gonna go over them quickly with a clear coat. And last of all, I need to take the latex off. So I'm just gonna use the end of this little thing here. You can use like a toothpick or something and just kind of it'll come right off, just kind of catch underneath it and just peel it away. And for the most part around my nail is super clean. I just gotta finish taking these off and then wait on my nails to finish drying. And here is the finished look. So there you go, there's the finished look. I love the way these nails turn out. I love how they're so simple to do, but they look really complicated. Like, I always have people are like, whoa, you did that yourself. And I'm like, yeah, I did it myself. And they're like, how did you do it? 
And it's not because I'm that great at nail art, as you could tell probably from that video, but it's just because I use a couple different little hacks to make the designs easier. So again, this isn't quite a crafting video technically, but I'm going to call it a crafting video because, hey, I mean, we just like painted a picture on our fingernails. Painting pictures is art. That's crafting, you know. So anyways, that's today's project. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're going to try this project with your fingernails, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. You know, thumbs up with the little snowman. And as always, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you did because each and every one of my subscribers are what makes me able to keep this channel going. So I thank you for that. But make sure you come back tomorrow for the next video in our Countdown to Christmas series. I'm so close to the end. I'm kind of sad that we're almost done. But I've still got a couple more cool ideas and videos for you guys coming your way. So you don't want to miss those. But until tomorrow, happy crafting. All right, I'm in the part where I'm like really scared because whenever I paint my nails, whenever I paint my nails, I'm like, they're dry, good, cool, I can do something, and they always mess up. So I'm like going to sit here and just watch my nails and be like, don't mess up, don't mess up, and then they'll still find some way to mess up because that's just what fingernail polish does.